Hey, welcome everybody. We are back to the Rick and RJ Keeping It Real Real. show. And so we're on part two of getting to know Rick and RJ. Enjoy. All right, let's get on to the next one. So um, what uh, sticks out to you as your most embarrassing experience ever? Most embarrassing experience ever. Do you know yours? Tell I me yours first. I don't. Know. I can't. I can't really think of it. I don't know if I want to put mine on the <laughs> yeah. on camera. <laughs> Freaking embarrassing. embarrassing. I think I embarrass myself quite a bit. Um, what's a embarrassing to me would be saying something. Um, maybe not so much embarrassing, <clears throat> but I would say something that's like put my foot in the mouth, and afterwards I'm thinking, oh God, how's this gonna end tomorrow? Yeah, but that, you know what? In in our world. <laughs> Man, you can't worry about that, right? Yeah. Like the amount of shit that we say on a oh. microphone to people. Think about the words that we say throughout an entire day. Like I know. if you had to type everything that we said, yeah. it'd be a novel. And you would never speak like that in general public. Like normal <laughs> civilians would never talk like this yeah. amongst each other, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. the amount, like face down, ass up exercises it, yeah, yeah. or the or the squeeze your butt cheeks. I or, say booty at least a thousand times. Booty, yeah. yeah, yeah. Booty so that's good. not really embarrassing though. Nah. Uh, man, I don't know. What's an embarrassing moment? I try to uh, keep those to a bare minimum, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> embarrassing moment. I know a embarrassing moment about you. Okay. Okay, so we were bike riding, and I don't know what the hell this guy did, but he just hammered on his front brakes, and I saw the slowest motion oh, yeah. forward tumble. Like, it literally was like this. <laughs> I was like, did I land it? What the hell? Hard? No, you fell. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, you fell right on your shoulder. But I was like, how did that happen? We weren't even doing anything. I don't know. And you just you just hammered for some reason. You hammered the front brake, and we weren't even going fast. That yeah. was the whole thing. We were actually kind of stopping, and you just hammered the front brake, and you just went over, but slow. I don't even remember that. <laughs> Where were we? We were uh, we were in the 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 north end, the heart of. Uh, the north end by that bridge. Okay. Right before you go into the. Was uh, I filming something? Was no, that fun? no, it was just so random. That is random because yeah. usually it's happened to me a couple times, <laughs> but like if I'm holding my yeah. phone and recording, then I and I get a little too t- tight no, on. This it was part. out of the blue, huh. and I did not expect it. And I didn't say anything, you know, because that was embarrassing. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even bust your balls because it's like, that was enough. I don't even know. I can't remember. I don't know, dude. I don't know if do I you have one of me. Uh, embarrassing. Where did I do something? No. I can't think of any. I, I need more preparation on that uh, one. Do, does that mean that we don't really live on the edge? Um. No. No. I think it boils down to the fact that, you know, when you live life where you just don't yeah. When you exude the whatever, yeah. Uh, if, yeah. Then it's just not so embarrassing. You just forget about it. Yeah. yeah. It's not you stack those memories. You know what? What's embarrassing? Sure, I got a lot of embarrassing moments yeah. in the person. I wear shorts that are way too short. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I am 45 years old and I take pictures of my booty at the end of every class. Yeah, like that true. could be embarrassing. <laughs> but I don't look at it as that way, right? So, but sure. Let, let's. And, and when you don't That's look true. at anything being embarrassing, then yeah. it really isn't. Right. You know what? I rock crazy socks. Right? Yeah. Can we get that, Jerome? I mean, look at our freaking shirts today. Yeah, these That's are, embarrassing. Yeah, exactly. And we don't even know. But but we, this know. is what I do. I'll go in the middle of winter, yeah. right? So it's cold out, and uh, I got my jacket on, my parka, my toque, face mask. I got my boots on, and I'm rocking these socks and some leopard print shorts, yeah. and I go to my kid's daycare. <laughs> and, and they're all wearing suits. You know what I mean? They roll up in their suits, and I'm like... Dude, yeah, I, know. I wonder what these guys think I do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I would say that the most embarrassing stuff I do is in this gym. Yeah. But I, I think it's awesome. I don't think it's embarrassing. Yeah, exactly. So. All right. Let's All right. move on from that one. All right. So what is your quirky pet peeve? Oh, quirky pet peeve. Um, I'm overly organized. Okay. Be, no, no. A pet peeve. So something that bothers me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, chewing. When okay. people chew, it bugs me. Like okay. a real solid crunch. Like, okay. uh, And it's not necessarily... Always chewing. Okay. So let's just say, like Jen, for example. Yeah. It doesn't bother me. I could eat every meal with her. I can <laughs> listen to it until she chews these one type of chips. Yeah. And then I'm literally, I, I'm, I'm looking at her like I want to kill her. I'm like, yeah. you can't chew this around me, and she'll, <laughs> she'll leave. And I don't know why. And there's, it's actually even a um, condition. Yeah. There's a legitimate con- name for that where it will put people into a rage. Oh yeah. So I guess that's one of my. Uh, Pet peeves. What do you got? Well, I think of another one. Uh, so if it's my personal pet peeve or like something that bothers me, um, uh, I, I fidget with my shoulders. Okay. Yeah. I got a, I got a knot that's never ending in here. And I think it's just me. And so it kind of bothers me because I'm always like adjusting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so what, that about, would be, what about a pet peeve of like somebody outside else? Outside of you. 
you know what? The biggest pet peeve is is um, non committers, right? Mm. So, uh, or people that uh, mm-hmm. say one thing and then they, you know, like well, why? Why do when you just do that? I don't get why you would lie or you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we had the we had somebody that was supposed to come on a podcast. I get it. They got stuff going on, but you know, like just be honest about it, right? Yeah. If you can't go, go. Don't, then that's cool. Just let me know. Yeah. Right. Um, people that just bail like last minute. Like I, that's one thing that I stand by is like, if I say I'm going to go and doesn't matter what the hell's going on. Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah. And especially if that person has never done that to me, then I don't want to start that trend. Yeah. That's probably my biggest pet peeve. Yeah. I mean, be, so you, no shows being yeah. late. That's a, that's a huge pet yeah, peeve. I, I feel like that's very disrespectful to mm-hmm. anybody's time when you show up late. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a pet peeve actually that you do. Okay. Since we're on it. Here we go. Is, is your uh, your yeah. communication can be very basic. Yeah. And oh, and not necessarily you, but yeah. everybody, nobody uses punctuation. Okay. So I have no idea if what you said is a statement yeah. or a question. Got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot of people they don't have any context in their in their um, first line. Mm. So, you know, like you're dealing with a lot of stuff. Yeah. So is Jen. And sometimes I'll just get the, uh, <laughs> the blue shirt. Yeah. The blue shirt from what? And then, but in you, because you're remembering conversation we had three days ago and yeah. then you just put it here and somehow I'm supposed to be connected to what you're talking about. I don't know. It happens a lot. A lot of people are like that, but I think mostly my biggest pet peeve would be the lack of punctuation in yeah. communication. Description. Description. Absolutely. So man. you'd probably prefer a voice note. No, I just want to say, you know, uh, blue shirt, question mark, meaning like you're asking about a blue shirt or okay. blue shirt, period, meaning okay. you're making a statement that the answer is blue yeah. shirt. So it could be know? short to the point. There just needs to be. 100%. So how about if we went and looked at your Instagram bio right now? Would there be punctuations after each one of your statements that you make? Because if not, then you're living, a a, you're living a double life here, buddy. <laughs> uh, well, there's no punctuation needed. Oh, here we go. Like. What is that? That's Owner of CSP like. and Bro- is that a question mark? Is that a statement? I don't know. No, that's a statement. Okay, so yeah. you need to put punctuation. No, marks you know, because it's, a, it's an at symbol. I'm hashtagging. I don't put a question mark after it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here and the uh, and the other thing like the there, right? Yeah. There they they, they are. are. Dude, I just learned that last year. They apostrophe yeah, R E there is and you own it. Like, yeah. But you got to say, it's, it's tough to uh, learn English. It is. You know what I mean? It's got to be tough. I'm learning Tagalog right now, and they're teaching me basic like basic vowels. And I was like, what the hell is a vowel? Yeah. Right? <laughs> they are, they, they, in, out, up, down. It's, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, Do you remember crazy. what a, you know what a verb is? Like no. You, verb, it's like an action word, like so uh, playing example. or moving or something like okay. that. But the uh, point is, who knows that? I don't know. Fine. Yeah. I don't know this kind of stuff anymore. Yeah. We know the words. We just don't know how to classify <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. Actually, in, in university, that I, I've try to get out of that course as fast as possible grammar yeah uh, just like writing proper writing oh yeah and it's interesting because i write so much now but the writing style that i do is not meant to be put in novels yeah. the writing style that i do is meant to for the reader to to have easy accessibility and quick into the point mm-hmm. but without being too quick into the point like what you said mm. Right. Yeah. So punctuations are huge. It is when I'm writing copy. So yeah. I guess I should take that into how I send my messages. That would help be helpful. Yeah. Because then we know at least the sense. direction that we're working with. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, I also find you you also have to put in emotion sometimes. So the other day I was in a group chat oh. and uh, I was busting like one of the guys' balls and yeah. I was I was saying he's like oh yeah I got a family dinner on Sunday boys I can't make it and this and that I was like hey um, you know you should probably organize your life around the gym. And run it by the boys before you make plans with other people. Ooh. And then I put the happy, like, the, I love it. The laughing. I love it. And I was completely joking. And yeah. the whole chat went quiet. And I'm like, really, guys? Like, what do you think I would Nobody just say that? Nobody supported that? Nobody said anything. Uh. They just, they just kind of like, they kind of walked away from it. So that would be an embarrassing one. I said, kidding, by the way. But it was so like, they started talking about something else. Yeah. And then I had to DM the guy. And he's like, okay, I was ho- hoping so. And I'm like, dude. No way. Like, really? Like, you think I would actually say that as a family guy? Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And I was like, okay, I, I know. Where, and this is the thing. You got to know your lines with yeah. certain groups and certain peoples, right? Yeah. Yeah. But this was a dude group? Dude group. Ah, but it's not like that kind of dude group. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit more serious. It's it's a me- the members group. And yeah. I'm not there with them yet. They're, it's more of like a coach okay. and client relationship. So I Clearly think, different than our group. I our tried chats. to, yeah, I tried to, you know, yeah, I guess cutting cross lines. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, that's, that's what you got. You got to push. You got to push. You got to push. You get you a little what? bit embarrassed. Yeah. And <laughs> I think that's actually a good point is um, you have to push 
people's boundaries to yeah. hurt their feelings a little bit. Yeah. Let them think about it. Yeah. And then they realize it's for the best. Yeah. Right? I don't and that's mind a little always, ball busting once in a while. You know, but you got it. But you got to stand by what you said. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can never question yourself. Yeah. It's hard once you once you offend somebody. You just it. it then it like so if we say something, and you're like, oh god, I can't go there with this guy, and you're like, oh man, that's where I want it to go, right? Yeah. And uh, it's so kind of like it changes the co- the communication. How but mu- at least you know. Yeah. yeah. How much do you? Um, when people say, don't worry about what people think. Yeah. Okay. This is just this, this most common thing that everybody says when you're dealing with, uh, yeah. self-improvement, right? Yeah. Stop caring what other people think. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I think it's right. And I think it's wrong yeah. in two ways. Yeah. Uh, so where do you stand on that? Like, do you, do you just say what you say and is what it is <laughs> No. 80% of the time or, or no, no, no. I, I put a, like today I had a chat with uh jets daycare worker and I mm-hmm. guess Every day we ask, hey, Jed, how's your day? And he'll always randomly say this kid did something, right? So we already approached the teachers. And um, and so we, uh, again, he comes, he's like, yeah, this, the kid pushed me or something like that. But he's not being a rat or anything. He's just like, yeah, and you know, Joseph, he pushed me. and But we don't know the context, right? And so when I had the conversation with the lady, the key for me was just to keep my emotions down. You, you know what I'm saying? And so um, the, the not caring what I say is like, listen, like, this is how it's going to be, blah, blah, you know, versus me saying, well, let's work together on this. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, because I, I have to care how they wait, because if I tell them how it is, then I don't know what's going to happen. I only see them like for three minutes a yeah. day. So they see my kid for eight. Yeah. Right. So I got to I got to really care what they say, mm-hmm. because otherwise, who knows? Right. Yeah. No, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Got it. So what was yours? How does that work with you? So do you, do you just put it out there? I don't care. This is who I am. I say what I want. Or do yeah. you kind of modify it a little bit based around the audience? Over the course of the last, say, uh, three years, I yeah. very much went into uh, debating. Okay. Right? Let me hear your side of the story. Yeah. I'm interested. Let yeah. me learn. Uh, to now, I've sort of become a little more hardened as far as my, what, the statement that I make is always going to be kind of directional to the point. Yeah. And... Um, Unless you provide value to me, I don't want to know your opinion. <laughs> okay. Okay. And that might sound uh, rude, but yeah. that's kind of how it is because yeah. I feel like that's just how uh, a lot of people communicate. Yeah. Right. You can't tell the right thing to the wrong person. Yeah. So there's no point in wasting your breath on it. You know, you'd be really surprised be- because people that you think have no value can actually educate you on something. Like people have something that you don't have and they just they can just say one thing mm-hmm. and they you just unlocked something right they have something that they tell you and all of a sudden like you could turn into something massive yeah so that's a one out of ten person <laughs> it, is, it is yeah and, and you're right once in a while somebody will throw out a nugget yeah. and you're like oh yeah that does make sense yeah and i would have dismissed them completely as somebody who would give me anything <laughs> in life but yeah. at the end of the day it's only 10 percent, and i'll work on the 90 not the 10 right so. you know what I, i've actually been working on this where um, I, I want to do less of the talking. That's kind of what I've been telling myself. I said, I want to, I want to actually hear what people says. Cause you know, it's fun to talk about yourself, talk about what you know, and then, you know, you feel good about it, but then sometimes it's like, just go the other way mm-hmm. and let those people talk. And, and how just, have you found that to be? You know what? Very interesting. I learn more. Like I'm all about learning. Right. Mm-hmm. So if I'm just talking the entire time, I'm just telling you what I know. But if you tell me what you know, now I'm absorbing what you know, and I can take that with me moving forward. Yeah. And I agree with that completely. Yeah. And the way that I try to do that is by asking engaging questions. Yeah. Back to a pet you're peeve. Good at, you're good at engaging questions. You want to know a pet peeve? Yeah. Oh, I just thought of it. Yeah. Say this to me. Yeah. So what's new? <laughs> so what's new? <laughs> what kind of question is that? What how, is new? How, I don't know. Since one going? minute ago. Yeah, how's, how's it going? going? I got that yesterday. When I hear that, hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. uh, not bad. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. Oh, shoot me. <laughs> like you've just wasted three seconds of my life. You had an opportunity yeah. to ask a great question. Yeah. I find something. Yeah. And that I, I haven't seen to. you in a year. Yeah. Or, you What's know, like new? everybody <laughs> follows each other on social media. Hey, yeah. I saw you got a hair transplant. Yeah, you know How was that? Me, don't lie. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you know what? No and, and it's hard for me when people ask me those vanilla questions yeah. because I'm like, like, are we just kind of in passing or are we talking? Yes. Is that your opening question? Because if we want, if you want to talk, I'll talk. But I don't want to say something that you don't care about. So yeah. ask me a legit question. And then this way I know that we're actually going to stand and have a conversation versus just like, if it's just say, hey, how's it going, man? And yeah. we walk away. I'm good with that, too. Yeah. And then you know what? And yeah. if that's how it is, how, hey, how's yeah. it going? Yeah. That's understood. That's <laughs> yeah. a societal understanding, right? We just yeah. in passing. And keep hey, moving. Good to see and you. Keep right? moving. Yeah. Don't stop don't and stop. stand there yeah. and look me in the eye. And now it's awkward. Yeah. What's how's it new? going? Yeah. 
No, don't ask me that. Get the hell on. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. <laughs> huge. All right, here we go. Let's okay. lighten the mood. Celebrity right. crush. Do you, what, okay, wait. What celebrity crush? Uh, what celebrity do you have a secret crush on? <laughs> He's got. So let me backtrack. So Jen and I have the freebie list. All right. Okay. So if she ever runs into Brad Pitt, she can okay. do whatever she wants to Brad Pitt. Yeah. If she runs into Nikki Six, she's allowed to have a whole okay. night with Nikki Six. No problem. And up I to the crew's coming here, actually. And up to, <laughs> Mother Crew's coming here. Oh, no. Um, and up until this point, I never had a, I never had a freebie list because I just, they all annoy me for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, I finally found her. And so I don't know if you want to call us a crush or you want to call this my freebie list, Okay. but I don't know her name. Okay. So, uh, Jerome. Was that? Goliath. Goliath is the show, Jerome. It's on Amazon. Billy Bob Thornton. He's got this assistant. I don't even know her, her stage or her acting name. Yeah. Um, but she is my crush. Okay. What an attractive woman. (laughs) <laughs> okay what do you got celebrity crush oh man i don't really even watch tv anymore um so i don't know if i would have an I, like i'm trying to find a tv show and a movie oh, you got a cr- okay let's do, do you have any crush on dudes crush, i'm not crush, crush but who, who do you, who, who's a great male actor to you i got a whole bunch of those actually. yeah you know what um the rock i would say i would uh, you know the rock he's got mm-hmm. that and I'm, and I'm watching his show he's got that the build, you know what I mean? He's got the voice, yeah. right? He's got the man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very. Uh, right up your alley. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Athletic, <laughs> football player. He always says the nice thing, but still jokes around with yeah. you. Yeah, so I rock, would say probably the rock. Rocked a hip sack at one point. In yes, his life. yes, yes. <laughs> and you know what? And and, uh, and Sean T, I don't know why still he's, maybe he's my celebrity crush. Yeah. Uh, so he's very, when you see him, then I, you know, I listen to his story, but, you know, he looks like he should be straight out of Compton. Yeah. Right? And this guy is the most flamboyant gay guy shorts wearing yep. everything about him but when you look at him and he stood there but when he gets to talking and moving you know he's he's gay yeah um but because of what he does and at his age he's probably like a guy in this industry he's a he's a fitness instructor with the thing i think we do better than him but uh he's been doing it longer yeah. than us but still i think that uh for him to be 40 i think he's 42 43 and that's all he does yeah. he's just fitness instructor yeah total props yeah. to sean t for yeah. sure he's an awesome one yeah i like a guy like gerard butler oh yeah and i think i've always had a crush on him ever since uh 300 okay i feel like he was the epitome <laughs> of what a what a man's in inner soldier is yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. the prehistoric way and yeah. the way that he yelled and the way he made these great quotes yeah. and the way he rallied his men yeah and the fact that every one of his men were willing to die for him yeah like, that's a big thing. It just so happened to be Gerard Butler playing yeah. the character, but yeah. I feel like in real life yeah, he played that. The movie, the movie was never the same without him. No. Yeah. No. As soon as they did that 300 sequel yeah. or whatever it was, it's like, well, you remember Spartacus one? I do. Spartacus one. The guy was he was Spartacus, and then they brought on this like wormy looking guy. Yeah, and well, I'm that like, guy died, eh? I know he died. Yeah. I just, yeah super yeah. sad. But man, yeah. I loved Spartacus. I know. When he, when he was gone, it was different. Yeah. I had to really. No, I didn't actually even like Spartacus after that. I mean, I, I think I everybody stopped guys. watching season yeah. three, four, yeah, or whatever Ganagus it was. Ganagus was my guy. Ganagus. Remember his hair? That's why I grew my hair. Uh, Ganagus was my guy in that movie. He was the blonde. He was the, the champion that got released. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the he guy. cut his hair, didn't he? Didn't he have a shorter haircut oh, towards the end? I don't know. Not the dark-haired guy, the blonde hair guy. Mm, yeah. I don't know. All right, Can't let's remember. keep going. Keep going. All right, so... Um, I think this is easy. What would be the one meal you eat every day, every single day, and never get bored? One meal. Well, I think we already discussed this. For me, ice cream. Really? Yeah, man. I could eat ice cream any time of the day. Really? eh? I could eat ice cream first thing in the morning, ice cream cake. Anything ice cream, I could easily eat. I could eat ice cream right after I just ate ice cream. Why? I don't know, man. It's just something about it. Is it cold? any, Any ice cream? Uh, nope. It has to be a nice, there has to be some type of topping. So it's like a salad, no, right? No. So for me, I need a, a topping inside of it. I make my, sh- my sugar free ice cream or sugar, low sugar, whatever. I put, um, cayenne pepper, mm. cayenne pepper, then the grainy salt. And then I put uh, stevia chocolate chips Ooh, on top. Fancy schmancy. Yeah, man. Eat that all day. Uh, mine would just be a, a this is going to sound so uh, pathetic, but it's a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I love a toasted sandwich. Yeah. I love a toasted. Could bo- you eat two sandwiches back to back? Well, hell yeah. Okay. No problem. <laughs> like with regular bread? No yeah. problem. Yeah. But I like it to be, I like some kind of a meat and the meat can be whatever, but yeah. I really enjoy the toppings and all this other stuff. And then okay. I found this great new mail at Costco. Oh yeah. Uh, high flavor. It's super expensive compared to regular menu. It's okay. literally twice the price yeah. for half the product. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I don't care because yeah. it's so good. And then I just, but you don't have to use as much. So that would, a sandwich would be something that I would eat every day as boring as that sounds. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, Naughty. 
Yeah, are you the naughty? naughty. Are you of the naughty or nice? I I don't know. Or a variety. Or nice variety. Naughty, are you nice or you have a variety? Yeah, well, if it's got to be one or the other, I think I always default more to the naughty side. Mm-hmm. I think the way I communicate <laughs> is always towards the naughty side. Yeah. There's always a sexual undertone with everything that I say. It's, it's impossible not to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I try not to, especially when there's kids in the room and stuff like that. When you're coaching, yeah. somebody's doing a hip thrust. You know what I mean? I like, know. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, what are you like, supposed to yeah, say? We're doing air humps. Like, great job, ladies. What a beautiful day it is outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thrust your hips. Boring. Thrust your hips yeah. up and I th- down. I think, um, I think uh, having a naughty side to you is a reflection of self-confidence. Mm. That's what I feel like. Mm. I feel like a lot of people who uh, don't feel self-confident mm. for whatever reason, Proof. let's just say you don't like the way you look in the mirror, mm. are going to have a hard time being naughty. Mm. And nor do you want to be because then it comes across as creepy. Yeah. So I think your naughtiness comes from your self-confidence. Because there's think, nothing wrong with naughtiness. I think being nice is very hard. Yeah. Like you have to think about being nice. I you know, there's not a lot of nice people that I know. I mm-hmm. think I probably know a couple like, man, that's a really – nice guy you yeah. know what i mean like there's there's only a couple people but when you find them you're like wow i think for the rest of us to be nice is actually really hard and so if you're going to be naughty and say a few words that you might you know might put you into the red or you know do something that maybe everybody doesn't kind of agree with yeah i think that's just your inner being of wanting to have fun yeah i agree yeah yeah all right we're wrapping up part two of two of getting to know rick and rj do us a favor comment below and tell us number one are you naughty or nice and number two one of your pet peeves